Hey dolls, welcome back to Lace by Mari's channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how I got this bomb ashy blonde color. All right, so this is how our five by five, six one three hair comes, soft, pre-plucked, and with four combs. Today I'll be mixing two colors from Ravon's Color Silk. Um, the color number 60, which is dark ash blonde, and the number 71, which is golden blonde. In total, I bought four boxes from my local beauty supply store. Each box comes with the cream color developer, the dye, the conditioner, and instructions with gloves. I like using my own gloves because the other gloves are way too big for me and they usually just get in the way. Okay, so now I'm mixing the dye and the developer in the bottle, then pouring it into this bowl. I'm going to face the bottle upside down so I can later pour the rest of the product into the bowl. So I'm only going to use two bottles for now to see how far I get in the hair, then mix the other two. Okay, so tip one, I always use a garbage bag to put on the table so that I don't make a huge mess. All right, so we're starting from the back of the hair and working our way to the front. Oh, once I finish what's in the bowl, I'll start from the front of the hair. All right, tip number two, don't be stingy with the product. You wanna make sure that you're evenly spreading it out so your hair doesn't become patchy. But yeah, this is gonna be my first time installing a 613 5x5. So I'm a little nervous, cause yeah, I'm trying my best to make this look like a frontal. So we'll see how that goes.
so this is how far the two boxes got me. I'm gonna go ahead and mix the other two boxes and start from the roots of the front of the wig. I like to do this in case I run out of dye. The roots are always very important. This is because if you're parting your hair, you wanna make sure it looks nice and even. So this is how much dye I have left after finishing the whole wig. So when I'm done coloring the wig, I like to look for spots that I missed. This dye makes it very easy to do this because you can tell what spots are missing because they're still the color of the original 613. After I'm done with that, I'm going to let the color set for an hour or so. All right, so it's been two hours later. This is how it's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and wash out the wig and put some conditioner in it. I'm gonna install it too off camera and then show you guys my results. It is, it is. Okay, <laughs> Like, subscribe, comment, mm -hmm. follow, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm.